This therapy used uh, the AAV virus, which has been used before. The viral delivery with AAV is extremely safe, and uh, I think it's going to be you know, the future of gene therapy, especially in the eye, because it's easy to target a multitude of cells. Uh, the only limitation of that therapy is really the size of the gene that you can package in the virus, and people are now working on other methods uh, with nanoparticles uh, and so on, to try to deliver large sizes of DNA. So it holds the promise for the treatment of many other uh, retinal diseases or ocular diseases. The choroideremia disease that was treated in this current study is an X-linked disease. And what it means is that only males or boys will be affected with this disease. There are other such diseases like X-linked retinitis pigmentosa or retinitis pigmentosa in general, where there is degeneration of photoreceptors early in life and they cause mostly they cause night blindness and the disease progresses into total blindness by the age of 30s or 40s and there are the incidence of choroideremia in this case is about 1 in 50,000 whereas for retinitis pigmentosa it's a relatively more uh, frequent disease and it's uh, 1 in 3,000 to 4,000 so it uh, it, this treatment does hold promise for other such diseases like retinitis pigmentosa where we can now target photoreceptors. In our lab, we are also working on designing strategies to treat uh, some forms of retinitis pigmentosa, uh, mostly X-linked forms, and also uh, some forms of LCA, which is a childhood blindness disorder. We are trying to understand the rot mediated cone cell death in retinitis pigmentosa. And it's a, a very interesting uh, retinal biological question. Uh, and the question is such that when rods die, which are the night active photoreceptors, which we really don't need much, uh, the cones die as well. And, and that phenomenon is important in retinitis pigmentosa because most mutations that are inherited are in genes that are only expressed in rods. Uh, so people go blind because they lose the rods, but they really wouldn't care about it but subsequently to the loss of rods, the cones die as well. And if we were to, tr to understand why cones die, we could actually treat a multitude of diseases where the mutation is in a rod-specific gene uh, with one unique therapy. And uh, this research was interesting because obviously that treatment would have to be targeted to cone photoreceptors most likely. And it's the first research that shows that you, know, you can target photoreceptors in a way that there is an improvement of vision or at least a stop to the progression of the disease.